Okay, now we are going into the calculation part. Okay, it involved with the line balancing, we call it. So in this uh, line balancing, we're going to look at the cycle time. We will look at the number of workstation, efficiency, and then we're going to arrange all the uh, tasks into workstation. Okay, so all of this required some calculation. Okay, these are the examples. Okay, this one is for the wing component. Okay, to make the wing component, they are task A until I. And these are the time that needed. So for task A, it takes 10 minutes. And then next go to task B, C and so on. So it takes about 65 minutes. Okay. These are the following tasks. Uh, so you they, they, there's a rule to follow. Okay. From one task to next task, what are the, the sequence? So it's very important to know. For example, uh, task A is the starting point. So A going to B. B going to C, B going to D, A going to E. Okay, that's how you read that. Okay. Okay. They give us information. There are 480 available minutes per day. So in one day, they work 480 minutes and 40 units required. So wing component that they need to produce in one day is 40 units. So what is the time for one unit of wing component? Okay, that's what we need to find. That's the cycle time. And then we need to transfer or to, to, to make this uh, table into bubble and arrow. Okay, so from this, A plus A, A goes to B, so A goes to B, B goes to C, and then B goes to C, and then B also goes to D. Okay, you do like this, B goes to D, and then A goes to E also, A goes to E. And then C and D go to F. So C and D go to F. So you follow all this and then you come up with this uh, bubble and arrow diagram or we call it precedent diagram. Okay. This is a must when you do the line balancing calculation. So these are the time. Okay. So I put the time here under the bubble. So task A 10 minutes. Okay. Task B is 11 minutes. So I do for all the task okay once you have draw the precedent diagram then you can start do the calculation first you need to find the time to assemble one unit or we call it a cycle time okay cycle time so we have one day 480 minutes so in one day they produce 40 so 480 divided 40 so 12 minutes per unit so it means that one uh, wing component takes 12 minutes to produce okay so when you have the cycle time then you can uh, calculate the theoretical minimum number of workstation so it, all these tasks need to be assigned in the workstation so how many workstation or groups that you need to to to, to uh, assign all this so you can calculate from the sum of task time in which this one or 65 and then the cycle time we calculated 12 so 65 divided by 12 we get 5.42 okay for what station or group it must be a round number so you always round up to the next number for example 5.42 is the answer so you need to run up to 6 okay so it means that this task will be divided into six group or work station Okay, next we can find also the efficiency. So efficiency is the sum of task time. This one is 65. And divide by actual number of workstation. And also times by largest cycle time or it's the cycle time actually. Okay, so it's the cycle time here, 12. So 65 here divide by 6 times 12, you get 90.3% of efficiency. Okay. So next, you want to assign. Okay, when you want to assign, sometimes they give you rules to follow. If you have a uh, tie, ataupun orang kata you ada seri, nak pilih mana satu. So for this uh, uh, line balancing, we have uh, five rules. But mostly, we use only this top three. Okay, so you need to read the uh, question carefully. If they don't give you any rules, so you can... Uh, follow your own way okay if they give you rules they mention it for this question they say follow the most following task 
most following task is to choose task with the largest number of following task. So, if you want to choose the task, you kena kira echo dan berbanyak echo dekat belakang. Banyak task dekat belakang. Okay, kalau ada dua task yang seri. Okay, for rank position of weight is more on the calculation. Okay, yang ni nanti I will go show you in the different video. Okay, I will uh, call this one is echo rules and this one is kepala rules. Okay. Alright, we do this one first because the question asks us to do this one. Okay. When to use the rules? Okay, I'll show you later. So, we have this uh, diagram, precedent diagram. Now, we're going to do the workstation or going to assign it. First, workstation 1, always start with 1. 12 is the cycle time. Always start with 12 if you open a new workstation. So, workstation 1, 12. Eligible is we start with A. We don't have any choice. So, we choose A, assign A, task time 10. So, you minus 12 with 10, you got 2. Okay, next, you have 2 and then either you go to B or E. But, you have balance 2 only. So, you cannot do anything. So, you just close workstation 1 with only task A. Okay, now you're going to open workstation 2. Again, if you open workstation 2, you need to start with 12 minutes, the cycle time. So, here you have tie between B and E. Which one to choose? Because from A, you, you have to go to B and E. Which one to choose? Then you use this uh, rules. Okay, the rules say that most following task. So, Kira echo yang panjang, so B ada berapa echo? Kira 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. E ada berapa echo? 1, 2, 3. So, who get the longest tail or most following task is B. That's why I choose B here. So, B equal 11. So, 12 minus 11, 1. So, is there any one suit for this C, D, E? No. So, you just close it and uh, with the balance, 1. Okay, now you're going to open the third workstation. Third workstation, start with 12 again, the second time. And now you have the option of C, D, E. Okay. Um, so, is there any rules to follow? No need anymore because we're done with this one. So, next, you 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 just follow which one is the best without any uh, pembaziran. Okay. So, for this one, because if you kira the tail, usually it is for the first uh, rule. Okay, after that, you more on your, uh, um, kata, pilih which one is the, the best. So, for this one, I choose E. Sebab E, uh, paling besar kat situ. Okay, the biggest one. So, tak nak ada pembaziran. So, I choose E. E11. So, there's one left. So, both tak boleh masuk. This one pun tak boleh. So, I close the third workstation dengan satu idle time. Then, I want to open the fourth one. Fourth one again, I start with 12. And then, this one, I got C, D, okay, uh, H. Uh, it's up to you. You can choose H if you want to. Okay, for me, I want to start, uh, I want to, to deal with this first. Okay, so I can choose, I want to choose C. Okay, 5. And then, uh, balance 7. 12 minus 5, 7. And then D, 4. So, D, 4. So, balance 3. So, my as well, I take this one also. Okay, jangan membazi. So, I put the F there. So, 3. So, there's no balance. So, just nice. So, I complete the station, what station 4. Okay. Now, I want to open the fifth one. The fifth one. Okay, I, I want to start with H. Because this one is the biggest, 11. So, it can fit here. So, 12 minus 11, 1. Because the, the balance is not enough for these two. So, I close workstation 5. And then, I know 7 as G and I will be together. So, I open the 6 one. So, 12. G must choose first because you need to complete G first. So, G, 7. And then, 12 minus 7 is 5. And then, 5. And then I, we assign I, I is 3, so 5 minus 3 is 2. Okay, so you have complete all the tasks in the 6 workstation. So, you calculate just now. So, it's tally, right? Uh, so, theoretical is the same as the actual. So, don't forget to sum the idle time. In this case, it's 7 minutes. Okay. Alright. So, that's all for the uh, lines balancing. 
Okay, so I will give you a tutorial later on on uh, two more questions on this line, balancing. Okay, so I see you in the tutorial video. Bye.